the Declaration of International Martial Law. And it's Mitch McConnell, the Republicans, are handing Obama and the next president what even Connecticut Senator Chris Murphy calls a Declaration of International Martial Law. The resolution is a total rewrite of the War Powers Clause of the Constitution. And we have Ron Paul saying the same thing. We said this last week. Uh, he said this last week. I didn't even know he said it till last night. No coverage, Max Kaiser. That's two big stories. The biggest War Powers Act, bigger than World War II, unlimited, insane, and it's not even in the news. I hope you cover it on your big RT show. I hope this gets out. This should be big news for the Russians right here with NATO knocking on your door. Well, yeah, NATO is is the aggressor. And, you know, part of the problem is that Victoria Newland, her husband, is a lobbyist for Monsanto. Monsanto, the genetically modified seeds, they want to get into Ukraine. Vladimir Putin, who works right over there in the Kremlin, has said that he doesn't want genetically modified seeds anywhere near Russia. Uh, he thinks that it's a disaster. He wants to be the global leader in organic food. That's what he says. So, <laughs> uh, Just to be official, you pretty much are endorsing Trump overall? I prefer Trump, uh, you know, yes. Well, that's news. Famous stockbroker, author, TV host, uh, Max Kaiser, known to be a little bit more liberal, endorses Donald Trump. we got to get that on the nightly news tonight. Uh, thank you, my friend, for being on with us. Again, ladies and gentlemen, you can get six months free at PrisonPlanet.tv, but only for one more week. Next Monday, the special that only comes around once a year ends. In fact, we've never offered six months free before, but I really want to get more people to join and to be able to watch the nightly news, to see the live reports we do, the special reports, all my films, ebooks, and so much more. One person can share their membership with 20 people, and you are funding the absolute very leading edge, the vanguard of the resistance to the globalist operation on every front. We have to have our own platform that is harder for them to censor, harder for the system to shut down. PrisonPlanet.tv. We put out the daily radio show free with the video and audio feeds at InfoWars.com forward slash show. But it is the members that get the nightly news exclusively and first and the commercial free video podcasts and audio podcasts that are paying it forward and financing and helping so many other people see the truth when we put the videos on Facebook, YouTube, and it's PrisonPlanet.tv that finances so much of the cameras, the equipment, the crew. The reporters, you are becoming a PrisonPlanet.tv member. You get exclusive HD, higher quality, get it first. And then you can download it, share it with friends and family, share your passcode with them, your username. It's a win-win. And then you're helping finance to put it out for free to everybody. PrisonPlanet.tv. Clean, pure drinking water. You can't survive without it. But where do you get it? Alexa Pure Pro is a brand new groundbreaking gravity-fed water filtration system that is like no other. The Alexa Pure Pro transforms water from virtually any fresh source into clean, healthy drinking water. Save $20 off the retail price and get free shipping. This is a limited time offer, so order your unit today and receive free shipping and $20 off. Go to InfoWarsStore.com or call 888-253-3139. What I'm going to talk about today is the open betrayal of the Constitution in terms of the fast tracking of the dissolution of Congress. Now, we've talked earlier today, and Alex has uh, played it several times. I'm going to play it again. This authorization for the use of military force and the senator who last week, as it was being introduced, said this is a call for international martial law. He said, I understand that we need to move after ISIS. I, I support that goal as well, but this is the wrong way to go about it. It's a way to go about it that voids the Constitution. And it's not just that. I've got a clip that I'm going to play before I play that clip. On the same day, another senator, uh, now this is a Democrat senator. He, By the way, the guy who opposed that was a Democrat senator from Connecticut. Good for him. Good for him. And it's very important when we see somebody who goes against their party leaders for principle, for the Constitution. And I want to say that we need to strongly stand behind him on this on this particular issue. It's not to say that we're going to give him a blank check on every particular issue and a, a blanket endorsement for him. We don't ever do that with anybody. Understand that. We pick people issue by issue and say, I support him on this issue. I don't support him over here. 
And we need to uh, criticize people when they do the wrong thing. We need to pat them on the back when they do the right thing. Now, here's a senator who does the wrong thing, Senator Barbara Mikulski. She's been there forever in Maryland. And when they're talking about, and this is again on Wednesday, the same day that uh, Mitch McConnell is introducing this fast track authorization uh, to do an international martial law to give the president carte blanche to go anywhere for as long as he wishes without any justification, without any authorization from Congress, no time limit, no constraints of any time, geography or anything. OK, we're just creating a Caesar here. We're crossing the Rubicon on that same day that that is introduced. We have Barbara Mikulski say this about Obama's executive orders. Mr. Chairman, I look forward, though, not to me talking and listening to myself, but listening to the attorney general and listening to this wonderful panel that you've invited to participate today. So let's solve the problem. Let's not get involved in constitutional arguments. And let's help our American people be safe and secure in their home, their neighborhood, their school, and their house of worship. Let's not get involved in constitutional arguments, and let's help our American people be safe and secure. Do you think you're going to be safe and secure if you don't have a constitution that protects your rights? If you have no legal rights that are respected by the government, the whole point of the constitution was to secure liberty for us. That was the, the fundamental purpose of the people who created this country. You can see that in the Declaration of Independence. You can see it in the first 10 amendments to the Constitution to clarify. After they set up this document, they said, you know, maybe we haven't made it clear enough that the federal government is not going to be the ruler of us, that we're giving it limited powers, that we're reserving powers to ourselves. So let's make that very clear. And so they enumerate that in eight amendments, uh, specific things that they're protecting and laying that out. And then they put in two more, the ninth and the tenth, to make it abundantly clear that if we haven't expressly given you this power, then you don't have it. But, of course, Barbara Mikulski says, well, you know, let's not have, let's not get involved in any constitutional arguments. Let's just make ourselves safe and secure. That is the lie that they continually sell you as part of the national security state. So now let's play on the same day. Uh, this is uh, a reaction to what was also introduced that same day by Mitch McConnell, a Republican, who introduced this bill for international martial law. And this is what the, again, a Democrat senator opposed that. Let's hear what he had to say again. Speak very briefly about a um, resolution that the majority leader introduced, I believe, earlier today. This is an authorization for military force is a total rewrite of the War Powers Clause of the United States Constitution. Let's be clear about that. It is essentially a declaration of international martial law, a sweeping transfer of military power to the president that will allow him or her to send U.S. troops almost anywhere in the world for almost any reason with absolutely no limitations. It's safe to say that this resolution is the wrong way to authorize war against ISIS. The language of this resolution is dangerous and it is unprecedented. Okay, so he is making a very clear point. Ron Paul made the same point. If you take a look at the article that we have on this, Ron Paul says, uh, and we quote him in the article where we cover that video. That video is embedded. You can see the entire speech. You go to Infowars.com where he says this resolution is a total rewrite, re rewrite of the War Powers Clause of the Constitution. Let's be clear about that. That's Democrat Senator Chris Murphy. That is uh, SJ Resolution 29. He says it is essentially a declaration of international martial law. And, of course, what are they doing with it? They are fast-tracking it. Where have we heard that before? We've heard the word fast-track used over and over again, haven't we? If they can't do a document dump of a several thousand page bill and say, we've only got 24 hours to do it, we've got to pass this omnibus bill, uh, or the government is going to shut down. There's no time to read this. Uh, we did it with Obamacare, and we have done it repeatedly with Boehner and the rest of these people. Dumping this out, not giving anybody time to take a look at it, and of course, that's precisely what they're going to do with the trade deals that are going to be uh, hitting the Congress uh, very shortly, uh, because this has been floating around. They said, we, we finished this. They did that back, I think it was in December. Uh, they said they had finished it, and we're just waiting for that to be introduced, and of course, they have already said they're going to fast-track this. 
They are going to do the same thing in terms of the Constitution ignoring it, eviscerating it. And this is Congress doing it to itself. Imagine if we had a King George III that dissolved the American legislature, or dissolved parliament, or we had a czar who dissolved the, the duca, okay? We got the Congress who's doing it to themselves. They're eviscerating their own powers. They have passed all of their legislating powers, their, their power to tax, their power to write laws. They have passed that off to the bureaucracies. They're proud of that. 81,000 pages of legislation passed by the bureaucracy just last year, a new record. But of course, they've been hitting at about 79,000, 80,000 pages of new rules and regulations each year, draconian rules and regulations with no wiggle room. Without having to find you guilty of a crime, they can impose excessive fines, violating every one of the articles of the Constitution. We said we had a revolution in this country because we wanted did not want taxation without representation. Well, I don't want legislation and taxation without representation. We have a swarm of officers who are harassing our people and eating out their substance. Does that sound familiar? That's the beginning of the Declaration of Independence. That's what we have to stop. So when we look at this fast track, we've been sold this as a deal. We've been told it's an agreement. It's a partnership. Remember, the NAFTA was a North American free trade agreement. The TPP and the TTIP are transatlantic and transpacific partnerships. Whenever they talk about them, they love to talk about them being a deal. But guess what? They're treaties. A treaty is an agreement between two or more countries that is about economics or other issues. If you look it up in the dictionary, the very first thing they say is about economics. That's the very first definition they come up with. So it was interesting yesterday... When I saw this article in the Drudge Report linking to the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, CBC, and out of Canada, they say Canada will sign the TPP trade deal February the 4th, but ratification is not certain. Now, this is the person who is the uh, international trade representative for Canada, and she says, uh, signing does not equal ratifying. Signing is simply a technical step in the process, allowing the TPP text to be tabled in the Canadian Parliament for consideration, for debate, before any final decision is made. And they even say in the text of this CBC article, but when it comes to ratification of the 12-country treaty, the 12-country treaty, this is a treaty. How are treaties passed in the Constitution? You have to have two-thirds majority of the Senate to pass a treaty. They don't have that. So what do they do? They vote and they pass a law between the Senate and the Congress saying, we're going to have a TPA, a Trade Promotion Authority. We are going to ignore the requirements for a treaty to be ratified under the Constitution. And what we're going to say is there's going to be no debate. There'll be no amendments. We will have 20 hours of discussion max. And then it's going to be a straight up and down simple majority vote of this document that was created by multinational corporations. That our elected representatives had nothing to do with writing. That our elected representatives were forbidden from telling the public about and they with the exception of Senator Sessions, they all shut up and fell in line. That is disgusting. And you ought to be disgusted about that too. Well, thank you for watching the show tonight. And be sure and join us this Thursday evening, live 7 p.m. Central. We're going to be bringing you our political science theater 3K. Myself and the rest of the crew will be here breaking through the lies and propaganda in real time. We'll see you then. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. Infowarslife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these and it just is really clean restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced.
and it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.